Hi everyone, this is uh, Terry Kugler at Kugler Landscaping. I just wanted to show you my uh, setup for 2022. Not much has changed uh, over the last four or five years. Um, I've been in business about 41 years, so I've uh, been there and done that. A lot of experience and had a lot of different things. So currently I'm running a Ram 1500. Suits my needs. Uh, my previous truck was a Ford Lariat. Just got tired of the uh, extra tires and uh, six tires and extra gas price and this and that. This one does the job I need it to do. So it's been pretty good. I added some toolboxes to it. Um, so keep some things in to work on it. Let's go back to the trailer here. Um, it's a 20 foot trailer. I bought it at Ted Myers. Um, dual axle, I think it's uh, like 7,000 pound capacity. I could be wrong. Um, have mounts for my uh, pole trimmer there on the side. Also, there's a mount for the weed eater, although I usually just throw it on the trailer. Um, running the steel pole trimmer, find it to be as good or one of the best as far as I'm concerned. So that's uh, one of my choices. I run them. Run uh, Currently I'm running all steel chainsaws. I have four or five different uh, chainsaws. I carry two or three with me at all days. So this is what I use on a daily basis. Um, liking the steel uh, backpack sprayers. They seem to be about the best. So I primarily run them. Uh, that's the yellow one uh, there with the yellow X's or that's my yard one and then I have one up on top there that is uh, should have green X's on it and that's for bush trimming and I mean bush spraying and tree spraying and things like that insecticides and stuff and then the uh, roundup one there is on the corner I run these uh, these wool barrels they're pretty heavy duty uh, A.M. Leonard, I think that's what they are. Can't really read it out here in the sun. I forget half the stuff I got, but I have them, carry them every day. Extra gas cans, rakes, shovels, a uh, little hook for everything. So I had that rack custom made for me. So it turned out really nice. I had, a, had it revised three or four times carry a gorilla ladder it's kind of like a little giant ladder except it's a little cheaper and get by them locally so that's very handy carry that with me every day uh, currently running the steel bbr 800 i find it to be uh, still one of the best i prefer it i also have a uh, i'll take you over here i've got a echo 9010t let me see what the uh, PB9010T, but uh, I don't find that as comfortable. Sheer power, it is more powerful, definitely. Not huge, but it is clearly more powerful, but I find it not as comfortable. The tube is uh, more rigid, and I've had some issues. That's why it's tagged. It's uh, had some troubles, but... Uh, so just not as comfortable. It's a couple pounds heavier than the 800, and uh, not not as comfortable. So I'm not a I'm not really sold on it uh, at the moment. Uh, I've just had it a couple months, but the 800 has been pretty good to me. Running the uh, steel weed eaters. Uh, one of the things, little tips I'll give you guys to look into because once again I've been doing this for ages sorry I'm uh, trying to do this one handed this is a they call it a manual feed head it's made by Toro and also Echo and I've been using this for as long as I've been in business 41 years and I run the uh, one, 140 line I believe it is it's a real thick line it's the thickest line I think you can buy, and I lace it up like that, so it carries, uh, has eight lines whipping, 
So that works really well. I think that's a, I don't know how people use that single line and bump and feed. It's terrible in my opinion. But So for all you guys that like to mount that on your weed eaters and give it a try, it's a Toro and Echo manual feed head. I believe you can still buy it. I bought like 15, 20 of them about oh, eight or 10 years ago. So I assume it's still available. Currently, I'm still using the uh, walk behinds. I like it, it suits my needs. Uh, I don't really cut grass all day. I do a lot of other odd jobs as well, but that's a Ferris 52 inch hydro with the 28 horsepower EFI with the oil guard system. I think that the uh, guard system on there is uh, fantastic uh, you never run out of oil keeps it cooler and all these other things so it's really a benefit got a little sulky on there so it's worked really well i've been very happy with it so far it's had a couple issues but it's one of the best uh, walk behinds that i've used has the central controls on it very easy and friendly on your hands so my previous mower was the uh, x smart and I've had numerous others, as you might imagine, in 50, 41 years. So, and then currently I'm back on the Toro Time Master, which they're kind of problematic. But if you know what the problems are and you uh, address them, then uh, they're not too bad for what they are. So I mounted the commercial version uh, gas tank on there. It's one gallon. I. Uh, if you want to know more just you know comment and leave me a message so i put three screws in the existing gas tank and then epoxied it on it's been on there for two or three months and so it's working pretty good so now it'll run a long time it usually lasts me all day i just trim with this mower primarily then i also uh, can't show you that but it's under there i put the uh, commercial pulleys on there so the pulleys are known to go bad on it and tear up the um, belts on it and everything so i've replaced uh, i went to the commercial pulleys and i went to the commercial gas tank so that's working real well and next i'm going to probably try uh, and do the commercial rear end uh, axle on its transmission as well uh, whenever it breaks or I have problems with it. So I've got a couple of these all set up the same way. And the ferret, like I said, back to the ferris, it uh, works really good. It goes up and down the hills. That motor's very powerful and will pull you and feel very fuel efficient with the uh, EFI. So it gets uh, Good gas mileage, which is important with gas being up four or five dollars a gallon. So I just had new uh, tires. I think they're Carlisle tires. They're one of the better ones I've used on the trailer. And uh, most everything's gas operated uh, to date. I do have some battery stuff, cordless tools, and I've bought a recently bought, bought Steel's. Uh, top end I think it's the uh, SM 120 uh, chainsaw and it's been good you know pretty good it's handy for small jobs when you don't want to you know trying to be quiet and it's inside the truck at the moment so but that's my setup I had the gate custom made that's two uh, a uh, has a uh, two foot extension so you don't get hung up it makes the ramp more gradual I also had these, I painted over them, but these are Gorilla uh, lifts. So assist uh, lifting makes it a lot easier so one person can lift the gate because I think it's probably around uh, 300-ish pounds or so. So that made it nice. So, I had to, so the trailer's pretty customized with the extended gate and the Gorilla lifts here. And of course the rack and all the uh, doodads on there. So it's uh, been a good setup. So for the last, I'd say five years, I've been running, running it like this. So I'm very happy with it and got all my tools for digging and spraying and wheeling anything I need to do. And then the trailer, uh, 
I have a lot of room on there, but I put yard debris on there, bush trimmings, tree trimmings every day that usually I just went to the dump. So that usually has um, several tarps on it or debris, or if I'm doing a little mulch job, I'll have some mulch dumped on there. So that's, and I'm also solo. So I've worked solo most of my uh, 41 years. Occasionally I've had uh, my wife work with me help me out or neighbor kid or something but for the most part I prefer to go solo I also ran a crew when I was uh, younger in my early teens so I'm well aware of doing that and the ins and outs of that so I'll open the door here and show you my uh, uh, little uh, steel unit there so that's what that is uh, it works pretty good it kind of it needs to be a little more powerful but if you're not in a hurry and you want to be quiet and you have a small job it works uh, pretty good but I break out the big boys anytime I gotta really get through something serious I'll get my get, go back to the gas so other than that everything's uh, gas operated that I'm running and so it's a, a big setup when you uh, look at it. I'll see if I can zoom. Well, I don't want to zoom in there. Sorry about that. Uh, that way I'm pretty close to it. So that's it. And then I have other things. That's just stuff I carry with me day, on a daily basis. If I'm doing something special, then I'll, uh, I do have other equipment as well. But um I started with a El Camino when I was 19, and I think I paid a couple thousand for that and had a little 21-inch push push mower and bagged everything. And so I've been uh, in the game for a long time and st started with nothing and uh, built up to this after 41 years. So I've had three or four trailers, and like I said, started with the El Camino and just put the mower in the back of that and grass clippings and everything else and it was uh, I don't know how I did it but anyhow you do what you have to do and I guess there's a lesson in life with that and and I start small and start somewhere and the, the point is to start and uh, at some point you get a you end up with something hopefully so but I just wanted to share it today. I just got back from uh, work and wanted to show you my setup and speak about a thing. So if you have any questions or interested in anything, and uh, feel free to comment. And I'll try to get back you, with you as soon as I can with any questions you may have and, and go from there. So I appreciate your time and thanks for uh, listening. And I hope this has been helpful. All my videos are meant to uh, be positive and uh, uplifting and to uh, help, uh, help other people out and just share uh, what I'm doing, not to tell you you have to do what I'm doing, but just to share my uh, setups and thoughts and uh, what I've experienced. So I hope this has been uh, helpful and somebody enjoys it and Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, share. Thanks. Bye.